week one, I ask you to focus on your gut. So during week one, I'm going to ask you to make a couple of dietary modifications and consider adding a couple of supplements to your daily routine. And you'll notice that in my recipes and in my recommendations, there's an absence of high glycemic index foods. What are those? They're foods with, with refined carbohydrates, refined sugars. So you'll see that white bagels, white bread, chips, cornflakes, muffins, those are not part of my plan. And instead, you'll be embracing things with a low glycemic index. So things like vegetables, proteins, healthy fats, but also things like oatmeal and quinoa. Those are Boglo approved. Um, you'll also notice an absence of dairy milk. So I will not be using dairy milk in any of my recipes, specifically skim milk, which is known to really trigger tons of inflammation in the skin. And instead, I'm recommending things like almond milk and coconut milk. And people always ask, what is it about dairy? It's the whey and the casein. So we think that proteins in the milk, whey and casein, are really significantly linked with inflammation in the skin. So if you think you're doing something healthy by adding a scoop of whey protein into your smoothie in the morning or eating an energy bar or nutrition bar with whey protein as one of the main sources of protein, you've got to rethink that and instead maybe consider using a plant-based protein or some collagen peptides in your diet instead. And of course, you'll notice that I'm recommending probiotic and prebiotic rich foods. So I want you to try to sip on some kombucha and try to adjust your palate to appreciate that sort of tart and almost bitter flavor that you'll get from fermented foods and beverages because then you know you're getting a good source of probiotics in your diet.